But get this, Croy Sather here, I'm joined by live, is running 100 marathons, giving 100 seminars all in 100 days. You are just crossing into week five. I am. Week five, 850 some miles wow. so far. Now, this story didn't just start overnight. This didn't just start We woke up one day and we're like, I want to run 100 marathons. <laughs> it started when you were young. I understand you were in a pretty bad accident. When I was 13, I was hit by a car head on and I was in a coma for four days and years of rehabilitation and, and other issues and there's no medical reason why I'm alive. And it did start there. I learned the, the, how fragile life can be. You as learned that at an early age as a teenager yeah. and then I understand when you kind of progress a little later into your teenage years, kind of fell into some self-destructive habits. A little bit. I, I got into a lot of trouble. I was very good at getting in trouble and it just kept escalating and escalating to the point where I was stealing cars until I got caught and that started turning my life around. What was the breaking point? How did you go from stealing cars to training to run 100 marathons in 100 days? <laughs> it was, it was, one was getting caught, and then years later, I, I met a mentor who started teaching me the things that I teach now, that there's a different way to life, that you can have a life by design instead of a life of maintenance. And that's what I'm teaching in my seminars now, and that's why I'm running across the country, is to prove to everybody that it's, anything's possible. I'm not a runner. I'm not a, a professional runner. I trained for this in a year and then ran, now I'm running across the country. How are you doing this? Is it really just mind <laughs> over matter? I mean, you were running 100 marathons in 100 days. I'm just in awe sitting next to you that you are here <laughs> awake. It's, it's very tiring. It's ex extraordinarily tiring and, and a lot of times I'm running till midnight and it's mostly mind over matter. It's my body's tired and, and it's exhausted and it doesn't really recover every day because there's just not enough time to, for almost 30 miles of running every day. So it's, it's all in your mind, it's what can you do? And my dream's so big of what I want to accomplish that it pulls me forward. So it's not really a, a challenge for me. It's, it's, it's just get out there and do it every day. It's so exciting for me. Wow. Chloe, now how do you want to take this 100 days, 100 marathons, 100 seminars, how do you want to take this act that's so huge and grandeur and have this translate into people's everyday lives. When I speak every day, I'm speaking to mostly the young audiences, high schools. Yesterday I was at Monaghan's High School and at the end of the seminar, after I, I teach them the three steps of becoming successful, they come up to me and they tell me stories and the stories that I hear are just amazing. And it's those stories that keep me moving because I know how many lives that I'm affecting. So the three things are dream big, what's that thing that lights you up every day and gets you excited. The second part is to act big to take massive action to make your dream come true. And the third part is cross the finish line. Never give in, always go for your, your dream and be persistent no matter what. Wow, those are the three main tenets of your seminar yes. and the three main tenets of your book, D dream big, act big. I guess yep. it's not, not just <laughs> enough to sit there and have these great dreams. No, you have to take action and you have to take consistent massive action all the time to make it come true. And usually the people who have achieved their dreams are the ones who are the most persistent. Wow. And now your seminar is coming up today. You have already run to Monaghan's, right? Yes. So you're speaking today in Midland, right? Yes. And that is coming up this evening. What, what is one thing you hope the audience members walk away with from your seminars? To believe in themselves, to believe that they can do it. There's so many times we have people in our lives that tell us our dreams are not possible. I've had lots of people tell me that running across America is not possible. And whatever you choose to do, you can do it. And that's, that's what I want. I hope, I hope to inspire people to do. Wow. You truly are awe-inspiring, Croy. This is so amazing. Now, your talk will be at Odessa College. It will be at the Derrick Hall Auditorium. This is sponsored by the Odessa Family YMCA. Again, this is today, Thursday, March 31st at 6 a.m. This is such an inspiring message. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by. Again, if you're unable to check out the seminar, definitely check out the book. I flipped through it. I mean, it talks about everything from ensuring that you pursue a career that you enjoy, but not having your career define you. I mean, it touches upon everything in life. Really, it's so <laughs> motivational and very inspiring. Thank you. Croy, thank you so much for your time. I know that you will do great things in the remainder <laughs> couple weeks. You will finish up, what, in June? You will June 4th. Finish up in New York City, New right? New York City, yeah. Wow. 3,000 miles. 